Dude, this TTO one's fun. Good day, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rex. In this video, we're going to be talking about the TTO one. This is episode four of my touring car series, where I take touring cars to a modern day carpet track. In episode one, I brought the TAO3 RS to the track. In episode two, I brought the TL01. Both of those were from Tamiya. In episode three, I brought another Tamiya, the TTO2. And it was recommended that in this episode, I compare it back to back with the TTO1. So again, we have another Tamiya. This time, the TTO1. We're going to be, I'm going to try and install this TTO2 diff locker in the front. I hope the diffs are the same. I don't know. I didn't research it. I should have. So this did come to me with mods already. So I won't be running the stock like the TTO2 I did, except for the shocks. I'll start with the stock shocks. But it's got a aluminum Tamiya drive shaft. It's got red, yeah, racing aluminum bearing steering. Adjustable turnbuckles, front and rear camber. And like I said, I will be trying to lock the front spool to get it ready for the track. Just like my other episodes, we will be using the standard Tamiya Sport Tune motor with, I'm not sure which tooth pinion yet, Amazon Special Servo with my Futaba. It's a big mess right now. I've got a Futaba system in there for the receiver. I've got fans for the speed control and the motor because they do heat up. And that's it. I've been told that the TTO1 does handle better than the TTO2 stock. I am going to try and run this without making any adjustments to the camber and toe. I'm going to zero everything out or bring it back to factory settings, I should say. Uh, so I can give it a fair run against the TTO2. And that'll be fun. The TTO2, I felt, wandered a lot. But that was due to the steering, I think. Which, this already has a leg up on because it's got the aluminum steering. And, oh, look at that. Way less slop. Like, next to no slop, actually. It's only in the wheel hexes. And the TTO2 had tons and tons of slop. So, I guess it's not really fair comparison between the two. But at least I get an idea. And uh, I'm not blaming the TTO2 for the way it handled the last time I brought it out. It, I didn't even get enough time on it because the drive shaft kept popping out. Every time I hit a barrier, all the plastic would flex, pull back, and, and, and I'd lose the drive shaft. So, I'll try not to hit as many barriers this time, but I can't promise anything. I'm still learning. Bear with me. Well, something's going on with the steering here, actually. I'll have to check that out. All right, let's... Uh, Let's go to the track. track layout. I'm going to go ahead and run around the track, get some footage first. Oh, it doesn't steer very much. There's actually nothing wrong with the car steering. The problem is in what I didn't do, and you'll find out on my third outing. Ooh. I'll have to be precise when steering. Or it wants sauce. Probably want sauce. I think this car can actually use sauce. Whoa, this thing's nice. Okay, I need to learn how to drive this truck, so I should start driving. All right, this looks fun. I want to drive this truck. So five, TTO one. First drive on new layout, first drive of the track. Let's go. It needs steering. Maybe. Jeez. You know what? I'm gonna. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to keep going before I make any changes. You should have stopped, Rex. There's a problem that you need to check out. It doesn't steer to the left very well. Okay, these front tires have glue on the sidewalls, so maybe I'm going to try no glue on the front. Keep it a little more balanced. Let's see. So I put brand new on the rear and I move the rear to the front. Let's see how that feels. Track is cool. It's more technical, it feels like. Oh, yeah, they're new on the rear, all right. They got to work in. Yep. Maybe I should switch them back. The new ones on the front. It is fully stock spring options. Oh, it just likes to be on throttle more, that's all. Turns more on throttle. But that's a weird way to drive. This is too ridiculous, these tires. <laughs> uh, okay. I gotta switch it out. Switch it out, switch it, swap front to back, back to front. So what happened there, there's off throttle, with the so little traction on the rear, new rear tires, it's uh, s uh, rotating. Um, on throttle's fine, but I can't be on throttle because it's not stable, because the rear end doesn't have any toe. And I had a feeling that having so, so little rear toe would hinder me in uh, on the straightaway and accelerating out of corners, which which is exactly what's happening right now. So, so I'm going to have to find ways to counteract the lack of rear toe. Yeah, first thing I'm gonna do now is just swap the tires back. These fronts are too sticky and these rears are not sticky enough, so let's switch them over. So upon switching wheels here, I took a look at these other wheels, the ones I originally had on. They don't have that much glue on it, but they do. But actually, there's so much crud on these tires. I don't think I cleaned them last time. That's my lack of steering issue. So I'm gonna clean these tires up. I'll put on my head cam so people who want to know how I clean the tires can see. It's a dirty job. And that's what I do for all of them. I'm not going to make you watch all of them. But not really try number three, because try number one and two were just me not cleaning the tires. So let's see what happens. Still running on stock springs from the box. Friction shocks. A little waggy, a little waggy. Whoa. 
mean this track also. I need to learn this track. Not sure what to do. Wow, this is very darty. I would like it not to be so darty. Reacts way too fast here. I think the springs in hole are too stiff. I'd like it to react a little bit slower. I'm not fast enough to react. Oh, the back is chattering. I should do the anti-wear grease trick. Okay, I'll try to rent out this battery pack maybe. Oh, the back is chattering a lot. I hope the video is catching it. It'll do it right here. Oh. Yeah, I think I should stick some anti-wear grease in those friction shocks. Or just switch over to... I did pre-build a set of mini CVAs for TL01. But I think they're a little bit longer. I don't think I built them short enough. So it'll kind of raise the right height of this thing. But it'll also give me adjustable... Well, they're all adjustable with preload. But it'll give me oil-filled CVA dampers. Um, so, that's an option. But wow, I'm, I'm impressed with this thing on friction shocks and stock springs. Definitely drives different. It's more precise. This is the most precise feeling one out of all of them. Now, none of the others had aluminum steering, though. Oh. Which I did check, and it minimizes slop a lot compared to uh, some other stock chassis I've got. This is fun. It's very direct on throttle. It'll steer on throttle because, again, that rear, that rear end has no toe. So when I gas it, it has no problem looping the rear end around. Uh, front end being a spool is always good. A lot more controllable in and out of corners. Without that front spool, I think I'd be looping out everywhere. Uh, yeah. I'd like a little more rear toe on this. It'd allow me to push out of the corner. Not, I wouldn't have to be so smooth. Look at that, look at that bounce. Friction shock bounce. I'm trying to, trying to approach these corners differently here every time I go about them. Try to learn it a little bit. Pushing the boundaries of where I should be. What the car can do. Oh, oh, it's steering funny. Uh oh, that bump did something funny. But I need to slow the suspension down anyway. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep the stock suspension on for now. I'm always pulling a lot. But uh, I'm going to add anti wear grease on the friction shocks. Be right back. I'm, I'm here at the desk now, and I'm just looking. Do I want to waste the anti wear grease on? On more of these friction shocks or should I go straight to the oil and my thought is I should stick with these because one of the goals I had was to keep each vehicle as close to stock as possible and mostly what the only thing is I were changing were spring settings you know um, in this in this episode I don't know if I'll be changing any caster camber toe because this runs okay, and that's what I want to do. The point of this is to see if this uh, out of the box can run. Of course, this isn't out of the box. It has adjustable arms and whatnot, but I haven't adjusted them. The only thing that's really big difference is the spool that I put in front, but all I did was put putty into it. The aluminum steering, yes, that's a large deal. This aluminum shaft, drive shaft in the center, I don't think is a big deal because I'm not running gobs of power. It's just a sport tune motor. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hold off on these oil shocks, I'm going to put the anti-wear grease in here, and then head back out. Also, while I've got the suspension apart, I'm going to go ahead and decrease the spring rate in the rear. These silver springs from Tamiya are quite hard. I'm going to uh, put these black Yaw Racing, I think they're Yaw Racing Springs stock in here, which are a little bit um, softer. Not much, which is perfect, I think. We'll see. 
you know when I hit something and then I said the car's pulling? Well, John was running on the track and he just found this. A dog bone. Well, don't this look familiar? Kind of like that TTO2 dog bone. <laughs> well, I'll try not to hit anything. But this is clearly an issue. If uh, it, What it is, guys, is I think when you hit stuff, this is also flexy that it's... Oh, look at that. Look how flexy that is. It literally stretches backwards and things can just pop out. So... That's what's happening. Not a big deal to me. I mean, I should, it's because I'm hitting stuff so hard. I uh, will be looking at universals for, for this as well, because I do, I do like this very much. This seems so far, in the little bit I've driven it, um, yeah, like, like a lot of you are out there saying, it definitely feels a little bit better than a TTO2, but that's just me in the situation I'm in, with the settings I have. Uh, there are seven billion people in the, on this earth, and there's no way we can all feel the same thing Yeah, that's what keeps things not so boring. We're all a little different. So that's that's my experience so far Let's get back on track enough talking By number four We've cleaned the tires. We've changed the rear spring to a softer than stock Spring only slightly and we've anti-wear greased the friction shocks. Let's see if we get a, a difference. Again, this is a new track, and I don't know what I'm doing yet. Ah, uh, I never really know what I'm doing. I'm trying something new with the throttle here, which is making me lose concentration on the car. I'm trying to use, I'm trying to use throttle as a drag brake a little bit. Oh, he's found a new line there. It's not what I thought it was. I thought it was a big, huge arc. But that's not an arc over there. It's actually like a, a hairpin. I'll show you what I mean. So I go in. And tap. Oh, like that. Alright, I'm going to shut up and drive. Trying to give it too much throttle after that sweeper. I love the way this body looks. I used to own a 94 Civic hatchback. Regret getting rid of it, of course. Whoa, I gotta figure out how to transition into that central part. much throttle. I gotta be more patient there. What was that? Patience. There you go, Rex. Patience. Okay. Starting to feel this car and this track. It's always hard getting used to a new car and track at the same time. Um, yeah. So I really wanted to get a lot of the cars here before they changed the track layout, but I just time permitted that that did not happen. 
time did not permit that to happen. I like this. Ooh. Hopefully no dog bone came out. Pole's tough for me. My eyes wander to the pole. Patience. Yeah. <laughs> Can I? Yes. Stay on power on that straight, Rex. Patience. Patience. Gun it. Patience. Gun it. Patience. Yeah. I just don't have any patience. That's my problem. Ah, I turned too soon there. Or not enough throttle. Maybe I'll more throttle. We'll try. More throttle over there. Patience. No more throttle. Nope. Patience. Throttle! Ah! I still aim for that. No good. I gotta figure out how to aim. Where to aim there. Patience. Patience. Oh. Is that better? Should I go really wide there, I think? Oh, it wasn't enough. Patience, patience, patience. Go, 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 go. Patience. Ah. Yeah, I should go wide there. I just figured that out. All right, slowly figuring out the truck. This car is awesome. Friction shocks, people. You don't need to spend a hundred Canadian dollars to get high-end oil shocks. It looks like with the TT01, anyway. This thing's awesome. I'm having a blast. <laughs> yep. I probably did some wrong things with that TTO too. Also, it didn't help that I had a Ford body on it. That's another big thing, is uh, it's kind of unfair. The TTO one has a much better handling body than the Ford SVT Lightning. Uh, so I will be choosing a different body when I bring the TTO2 back out. And I think I'm going to retire that SVT Lightning body maybe, I don't know. Actually, I'd like to make that a track runner too. Patience. Yeah, I think I'm getting better. Oh, the battery's dying, that's probably why. It was really good. I can't complain. I have nothing to complain about. Really, I enjoy driving it. Do I want to, can it go faster? Yeah, definitely. Can it handle better? Absolutely. Uh, like I was saying, I would like to be able to give it more gas coming out of corners or into or, or, or mid corner, but I can't do that with virtually zero toe in the rear here. The reason why I keep saying is because when I give it gas, all the, all the weight squats to the rear, I want the rear wheels pointing towards the center of the car to push it straight and not allow it to turn so easily. I, I like it. I like it a lot. This is awesome. Let's have a look at the tires. Ew, a little stuff built, growing up, um, built up on the tires. This is awesome. Yujiro Honda Saki, you're doing a great job. All right, what am I doing here? Uh, I gotta learn the track more, so I don't want to. I don't think there's any changes that really need to be done to this TT01. This TT01 is awesome. Very fun to drive here. Uh, I'm just gonna clean the tires and switch batteries and get back out there.
let's go tires are cleaned nothing's changed except for a new battery I just drove racer rose so <laughs> I have to get used to driving this thing again oh my gosh this turns so nice A little squirrely on power. I'm a little aggressive though right now. Feeling excited. This car is awesome. Oh, well, I'm in the zone now. I can see the track better. Out of my corner of my eye. There's this zone that I get into when I start driving better. Everything else blurs except for the car, but I still see the track at the corner of my eye. I call this my zone. Oof. Too many mid-corner adjustments there. Pick your steering angle and adjust with throttle. Moving your steering unsettles the car. I gotta figure that out, how to escape that, how to exit that area. This is awesome. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Patience, patience. Patience, patience. Too much. Oh, the tires squawk there, that's cool. Bouncing, you know. I think I want to put the suspension on the oil shocks to see how much more consistent it would be. I wonder if the camera can pick up that chatter in the rear end. Yeah, it's affecting the, the front end when it does that. <laughs> this shell always turns the car over. That's awesome. Yeah, that chatters a little bit much. Especially as I start pushing through these corners. I gotta be a little bit smoother, but the chatter is making it very inconsistent. I'm a little aggressive right now, but I'm just trying to throw the car around. It's kind of fun.
Oof. Almost got stuck on the wall there again. Starting to lose power. Either the battery's starting to dump or the motor's starting to heat up or something. I'm losing all kinds of time in all these corners. I hear you. Okay, let's try and make a smooth lap. Or that. FYI, reverse is illegal in racing. That rear end. I'm pushing too hard though. Dude, this TTO one's fun. So why is this so different from the TTO2? I gotta give the TTO2 another try with a proper body. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh! That's awesome. All right, another battery. I don't have any time left. I've got to head out of here now, uh, very like very soon. So I'm gonna start packing up. So I got to clean up all the marks that the track left. Use brake cleaner and a rag to clean all that up, all that up, and blow the car out of all the uh, uh, rubber marbles and carpet fibers and stuff like that. Under the body gets pretty pretty covered in that stuff. So yeah, just quickly do a clean up clean up the desk pack everything up and I gotta go closing thoughts uh, I need to give the TTO2 a, a better body to run with because I ran the TTO2 with a Ford SVT lightning body and I'm running the TTO1 now with this body very big differences uh, the SVT has all kinds of weight hanging off the rear it's high center of gravity it's not aerodynamic so I think and the reason why I keep going back to the TTO 2 is because I just didn't have a great time driving that thing and I feel bad I feel bad uh, for the way I represented that and I'd like to give it a proper go anyway back to the TTO 1 this is about the TTO 1 this thing's awesome again I do have adjustable things on it adjustable links and whatnot but I did not adjust anything it is factory setting and the only thing I changed, as you saw, were, were anti-wear grease in the friction shocks and the rear springs I changed. That's, that's it. I'm running a front spool. That's, that's it. I would highly recommend this as a inexpensive starter. Uh, absolutely, because you can still get a lot of parts for this vehicle. This uh, TT1 is still very... Ooh, I got a crack in the body. No. Oh, all right. I'm gonna clean up. Time to go. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Peace out. Bonus footage. Let's go, Racer Rose.
Jeez. Gotta start these turns like yesterday. Let's try it again. This thing's really fun, actually. That front tire needs sauce. <laughs> Probably grip flip, traction roll. <laughs> Racer roads are awesome. Alright, that's enough of that. Peace out.